Hello everyone and welcome to this week's app review of Traps and Gemstones. I am Victor Fitzgerald and I'm going to be walking you through the gameplay for Traps and Gemstones which harkens back to the original Indiana Jones with his whip slashing and archaeological heroics. What I'm going to do is go ahead and get started on a low level save uh, that I have so we can just see what's going on. When the game first loads, you can see that I have just a couple of buttons that I can press. Um, Traps and Genstones is first and foremost a side-scrolling two-dimensional game. Uh, what you're going to notice though is that I have some control schemes uh, that I can play around with in some of the settings. Uh, the original goal of the game is really just to get Indiana Jones through the game and saving all of the gemstones that he would like to have. Uh, in this particular level you can see that I'm advancing down through the press of some buttons which build staircases for me. Um, as you move on you will use your whip uh, to break items and secure your place um, which unfortunately you can't use underwater so I can't take out these menacing fish who will probably attack me as I get closer. Um, ooh, close save and I died. I got killed by that jellyfish. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and warp to camp, show you what camp looks like. Um, since this is traps and gemstones, we are working inside a pyramid. So our camp is located on the top of the pyramid. I'm going to go ahead and continue through the first few stages uh, where I have already blocked or broken some of the blocks that existed and show you more, some of these more advanced stages um, as you can see here. And I'm going to go ahead and run through this level so that you can see that. Now, as you progress through the game, you're going to find more and more items that will help you through your quest. As you can see from that level that I was just in, I actually could not progress any farther than I currently was uh, because the path was blocked. I'm going to go ahead and continue through the game to show you more and more of this app. At each screen, you're going to find a variety of people and places that will help you um, and some storylines to walk you through all of the relics and what your purpose is in the game. Uh, the idea is to very quickly and easily just advance through the game, collect all of the artifacts, uh, which will be through keys and other items that you will collect. And once you get the artifacts, you'll place them on the corresponding pedestals to open up other places of the game that you can continue to play. Um, so as you can see, that unlocked the next stage of this map, and I can continue on collecting more and more artifacts uh, while trying to make sure that I don't uh, get hit by zombies or killed in any way along the way. There's a lot of really fun and interesting gameplay mechanics in here, uh, like being shot through barrels. Uh, that's always kind of a fun gameplay mechanic. Harkens back to the old uh, Donkey Kong Country and games like that if you ever used to play. Um, again, you're going to want to whip a number of unhappy creatures here, and you want to collect coins along the way so that you can unlock more and more features. Um, overall, Traps and Gemstones is a great game. It's fun to play. It's really good if you like 2D side-scrolling puzzles. Um, that's where I would recommend that you buy and purchase this app and start playing it. And get it on all of your devices. If you are not as focused on gameplay and not as thrilled about the idea of playing a side-scrolling game, I would recommend that you move on. Uh, there's not much once you defeat the first set of puzzle structures that you run into in the game. Uh, the overall plot is fairly monotone, meaning that you do the same thing over and over again. Again, it's a fun game and good for a short stint of relaxation and fun. Uh, there's almost no educational value in the app, and I would recommend it for a simple game to play when you have some time to kill. Stay tuned for more game reviews and updates as time goes on. And we look forward to seeing you around. If you have any questions or concerns or comments about this video, feel free to leave them here 
or leave them on our blog at victorfitzgerald.com. Thanks.